Hey everyone and welcome to Ampeg TV. Dina Monoxos here with you. In this video, we're gonna talk real briefly about the mid-range selector knob and mid-range control that you see on all of our classic, pro, and now Portaflex series amps. Now, don't confuse this switch with the style knob that you see on our BA combo amps. That's something completely different, which I talk about in another video. The mid-range selector knob works in conjunction with the mid-range control and acts sort of like a quasi-parametric EQ for the mid-range. Each of the five positions is a specific mid-range frequency that you can select and then cut or boost with the mid-range control. It's really simple. Select the frequency, then boost or cut that frequency with the mid-range control. Now, a common mistake a lot of players make is they'll select a frequency but they won't necessarily hear anything because they're not boosting or cutting that frequency with the mid-range control being straight up. All the way clockwise, boost the selected frequency by 10 dB, and all the way counterclockwise, cuts the selected frequency by 20 dB. So let's hear what each frequency sounds like with them being boosted by 10 dB. Now, just to give you a heads up, I'm actually playing a loop from my looper pedal into the 7 Pro so that I can switch between the frequencies and discuss each frequency and you can better hear as I switch through them. So we're going to start with position 1 is 220 hertz, position 2 is 450 hertz, position 3 is 800 hertz, Position four is 1.6K, and position five is 3K. And I'll sweep back and forth through the frequencies. Five, four, three, two, one. Now let's hear what the frequencies sound like being cut by 20 dB. So I'm going to roll the mid-range control all the way down. And again, we'll start with position 1, which is 220 hertz. Position 2, which is 450. Position 3 is 800. Position 4 is 1.6. Position 5 is 3K. These are being cut by 20 dB. And I'll roll through the frequencies again. Four, three, two, one. Now I'll do just the opposite. I'll select a frequency, let's say 800 hertz, which is position three. And then I'll roll the mid-range control from minus 20 dB all the way up to 10 dB. So starting at minus 20 dB. All the way up to plus 10. Big difference, right? Now you can hear what a powerful control these two knobs can give you. So anytime you see this combination of the five position mid-range selector and the mid-range control, you'll know how it works. And they all work the same way with the same frequencies on any of our SVTCL heads, Pro Series heads, and now PF500 and PF800. Remember, Mid-range frequencies are some of the most important frequencies for a bass player to fine tune. Bass will always give you that booty shake and rumble. And treble, let's face it, will let everybody hear your slappity tappity slap solo. But mids are where you're gonna cut through the mix so everyone can hear you. So next time you're dialing in your sound on an SVTCL or any of our Pro Series heads or a PF500 or PF800, Remember to pay a little extra attention to the mid-range selector switch and mid-range control. There's a whole bunch of tone shaping in there that can help you out and get you heard through even some of the nastiest mixes.
Until next time, my name is Dino Monoxilis. Play more bass.